What's up crew? Uh, we are headed over to Darren's to put my meals together, which is gonna be fun. You can't tell by my voice, I'm having one of those days again, and it seems like that's pretty often this week, and it's kind of annoying. I hope I can clear it, you know, what am I even saying right now? I need to stop having these types of days, and I don't know what's going on, and it's too early to have this type of day. I need to meditate or something and figure out what the heck's going on. Anyways, Dill and I are on our way over to Darren's. Uh, we're gonna pack out my meals for the week, and then not really gonna get any footage there today since we already got some yesterday, and I don't really have a plan. Having a plan is good because then you can have a story to sort of provide. Um, and I at least need to understand what the heck my story is on the daily basis. Doesn't need to be perfect, doesn't need to be like a shot list to the to the T, but I need to at least understand what my motives are daily. Nothing much to talk to talk to about anyways. Uh, we've already sort of covered everything and tomorrow will be interesting. Hopefully I'll get some footage tomorrow at the holiday party and that'll make for a pretty cool video, so. Till then, I'll see you in the gym. Well, thought I was going to the gym, but turns out I'm gonna go ahead and do some lifting here in the garage during Dill's third nap. So, gonna do a snatch complex, which includes a power snatch, snatch balance, and then a full squat snatch. Let's get to it. Dylan's awake. She never lets me work out. She never lets me do what I want to do. <laughs> I love doing on the minute, especially with lifting. Uh, gives you the opportunity to focus on technique. Sort of give yourself time in between sets to uh, gather yourself. Of course, some on the minutes are not great, like burpee on the minutes. Just kind of getting this in when I can, instead of trying to plan out my day. Uh, Dylan went down for a nap, so I decided to come in here and get a lift in. Snatches are feeling pretty good. Got a Barbell Shrug podcast in the background with Andy Galpin. I like listening to him because he's a very, very knowledgeable uh, nutrition specialist, I guess. I'm not sure of his actual title, but uh, last time I heard his podcast, I thought it was awesome. Oops. Can't wait till my two and a halves come in. <sighs> I can't wait to be able to make smaller jumps. Oh man, it's getting spicy. Full show. I love on the minute though. All right, Dylan's getting pissed off, so we'll call this one my last one. 
<laughs> kind of looks like Dylan fell back asleep. That's how she rolls. That's what she always does. Uh, well, gonna hit the gym after this. It's a pretty cool workout. Uh, it has handstand push-ups and pistols in it which I haven't done pistols in a long time, so it'll be cool to do that. I'm not super stoked about doing pull-ups because my hands are still weak as hell. I might try to pack some gloves and hopefully that'll help. But uh, yeah, I guess I'll see you in the gym. Well, change of plans as usual. You know, this week has been really freaking weird. Really weird. I wanna talk about this week a little bit. Um, I started off really good with great intentions to do this ketogenic diet and be successful. That obviously got flipped over on top of itself as I realized the, the holidays kind of make it difficult to do something like that. Um, obviously I could have tried a little harder and stuck to it, but I just know that it's not going to work if I... <laughs> If I do that to myself during a time like this and then I had two off days where I just didn't feel didn't feel it and today was one of those days um, and now I'm not going to the gym which I got to work out in in the garage so I'm stoked about that um, and it felt good snatches felt awesome but I'm not going to the gym and I made that decision because I realized I need to go pick up my food over at Darren's um, and then he's also giving me a heavy bag, which is awesome because I have a, a set of or a pair of gloves boxing gloves and I just For some reason I have this urge to do some like boxing sessions uh, Which will be really cool to add into the uh, warm-ups and a good way to sweat So I'm super stoked about that gonna go pick that up like I've gotten some awesome equipment from Darren and I'm so stoked about that I don't know how many times I can say stoked right now. Stoked, 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 stoked. I was definitely excited about that workout because I haven't done pistols in a long time and handstand push-ups, but obviously it'll it'll come around again. Thanks for watching today's episode. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, tomorrow is going to be a great video, so if you're new to this channel, you should hit subscribe and uh, stay tuned. Tomorrow we do Karen Unbroken to celebrate 150 subscribers and uh, set the new benchmark for the next you know, celebratory subscriber number hitting of the goal. Hmm. I need to figure out a better name for that. If you like that video, hit the like button. That helps me get discovered by others trying to find videos like this. And uh, leave a comment. Let me know what's, what you think. I know this has been a weird week. And for those of you who maybe joined thinking you're gonna see a ketogenic cycle in the works, um, I hope I didn't let you down and I think I'm gonna go back and try it because I do like that diet and I like the plan. I just don't think right now is the right time. So stick around and uh, we'll get back to it. But yeah, until then, I'll see you tomorrow, crew. Dude. What is up? You want a burger with fries? Uh, sure. I should start making a uh, some pickup window, uh, like have a pickup window menu. Make some random shit with the yeah. leftovers. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and make a menu out of that. I will throw it in a dumpster <laughs> or off the freeway. I will throw it over the fence. <laughs> and and be like, yeah, I don't know what you're talking about.